our offense did a good job of um, generating some open shots, and, and like you said, we were able to knock them down, um, which, is, which is really big at the zone. Because if, I think if, if there's zone and you're not making shots, it's going to be really hard to take it to the basket. But obviously, when they are going in, uh, you can spread them out and have those those lanes to drive. So uh, it really helped up, up a lot of stuff for us tonight. Uh, you know, it was, you know, I think, you know, it's KG that was driving, you know, and he just, <laughs> he happened to miss the shot and, you know, I just, you know, it's just running down the floor. I saw the ball go up and I was trying to get it in and fortunately it just went in for me. Yeah, we, we, you know, we were, we were stuck in mud a lot there. You know, I think it's a good thing for him. Um, you know, they show that support for Marcus. Um, I don't know. I mean, he played hard. I don't know what he did. I don't even remember. But this is a good thing for him. Um, you know, show the support. And, um, you know, he showed it back when he jumped in the stand after the game. And, um, you know, it's just all that love that they show when they come out and they're dedicated. And um, this is great. Obviously, in overtime in Columbus, uh, but they dominated the boards. Um, it's 35-19 tonight. You know, I think it was 36-19. Yeah. Ohio State, third place. And you can say that's the difference in the game. Even though the game in Columbus was a, a close game, an overtime loss, and in this game obviously it wasn't. Uh, but just you know, you got to establish yourself. You got to be quick to the ball. When somebody zones you, and you've got to be able to chase down your long rebounds because um, you're going to have some. You're going to have some threes and you've got to be able to go make those plays and give yourself extra possessions.